Yesterday, the Yankees acquired Tim LeCastro from Arizona, and tonight he'll be in uniform and potentially make his Yankees debut. He talked earlier on the field. It's our quote of the day brought to you by Toyota. As the guy that grew up uh, in upstate New York, Yankees fan, is this a dream come true for you? Absolutely. I mean, I just got the chills when you said that. I mean, my family's going to be here. My fiance's going to be here. I can't wait for tonight. It's going to be awesome. What was their reaction when you told them you had been traded to the Yankees? They were more excited than me because they were having to stay up to 1, 2 in the morning to watch games. So now they can actually watch games on East Coast time. So that's a good thing. What was it like for you to step into that clubhouse, put the pinstripes on? Uh, it's something you literally dream about as a kid, and it finally came a reality, and I can't wait to get started with this team. I'm very excited. Did you have any inkling of this coming? Players sometimes know when they're on the block, when they might be traded, etc. Did this catch you completely off guard, or did you have some idea? Completely off guard, had no idea whatsoever. I woke up at 9.45 in the morning to 200 text messages and 20 missed calls, and next thing you know, I'm on a red eye to New York last night. So, I mean, I'm very excited and ready to get going. So you found out 9.45? I found out 9.45 when yesterday. I when I woke up, correct. Yeah. Okay, what was the most memorable part of your first tour of duty with the Yankees? Well, I never made an appearance as a Yankee, but I would say the initial getting traded there, how happy my family was, my cousins. I mean, my cousins still rooted for the Yankees when they played against the Diamondbacks, so now we can have one team to root for. How do you think you'll fit into this team? I'm trying to do whatever it takes to win and help this team win. That's the number one goal here. I mean, as a fan growing up, the standard was to win, and that's still the standard, and I want to help that this team win. How many people you have here tonight, would you guess, total? There's going to be, tonight, tonight I got my parents, my fiance, and my aunt. Tomorrow and the next night we could get in the 50 plus. So. And as an organization here, this is a group that has been able to find players from other organizations and find different things that have increased their offensive profile. Yeah. Have you had any discussions yet with the hitting coaches here about just different things to try or things that they would want to work with you on? Yeah, we've talked briefly, but after this I had a few coaches say, come, come meet with me, so we're going to discuss that more. But I'm ready to get going, and whatever I can help this team, I'm ready to go. Are they talking about how they plan on using you? A little bit. At any, I told them, any role you need me, if you want me to come off the bench, pinch run, pinch hit, start a game, I'll be ready. I've done those roles my whole career, and I'll continue to do that now. Tim, growing up as a Yankee fan, like, do you have any favorite memories of games you went to? Who were your guys? Ooh, I remember I was here uh, when Raul Banez hit the home run in the playoffs. He pinch hit for A-Rod, tied the game up, then he won it in, the, I think it was the 12th or 13th. That was probably the coolest and most memorable moment uh, of the recent time. Where were you sitting? I was sitting down on the third baseline, going nuts. I remember. <laughs> we, me and my buddies, we drove down from college at Ithaca, and uh, it was a great experience.